Good morning, good morning, saints of the Most High God. A quick word of inspiration, hallelujah, to you, you, and you. Praise God, hallelujah, this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. The keys to the kingdom of heaven are, is love. Hallelujah, the key to the kingdom of hell is hate. Hallelujah. Mm. Have you noticed, praise God, that these are transferable? Hallelujah. You know, Love, hallelujah, hides a multitude of sins. Hate reveals a multitude of sins. Hallelujah. And we know that through love, hallelujah, Jesus wants us, hallelujah, to abide with him in heaven. Through hate, Satan wants us to abide with him in hell. Hallelujah. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting angry because the word of God says, in Ephesians 4 and 29, be ye angry, but sin not. But Satan wants us not to just visit a negative emotion. He wants us to live there. Hallelujah. You notice in 2 Corinthians 4 and 8, it says we are, hallelujah, puzzled, hallelujah, on every side, yet not distressed, hallelujah. He said we are perplexed, yet not distressed, hallelujah. He said that we are uh, you, we we are puzzled yet yet we're not in despair. You see what I'm saying? Then he said we are cast down, yet we are not destroyed. Hallelujah! So see what it's doing in this scripture. It's talking about a temporary state versus a permanent state. Hallelujah! Being cast down, Hallelujah, and being destroyed are two different things. Being destroyed is a permanent state. Hallelujah. Being perplexed, you know, is a temporary state. Do you understand that? Satan wants, Satan doesn't want us to be in a tempor temporarily puzzled or temporarily turned around. Satan wants us to, to live in despair. Despair is when you're living in a, in, it's a location. It's when you are living in depression. It's when depression has gone to another level and Satan has taken a chain and put it around your mind and put a padlock on it. When you get in despair, don't let him take you there. Hallelujah. Mm. The joy of the Lord is your strength. There are nuggets and trinkets and gemstones in God's word. Hallelujah. And God's word has become flesh and it will dwell among us and we can behold his glory, the glory as of the only begotten son of the father, full of grace and truth. Remember this. When Isaiah is saying in Isaiah, the 60th chapter, the first through the third verse, arise, shine for your light has come for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you for behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen on thee. He's not speaking to your mind. He's not speaking to your soul. He's trying to wake up the eternal entity in your being. He's speaking into your spirit hallelujah your eternal spirit and he's trying to get you to stand up inside of yourself and receive the glory the manifested excellence of god hallelujah mm. be hallelujah what god has created you to be let your spirit hallelujah take the steering wheel of your life and not your soulless realm and not your flesh hallelujah let your spirit team up with your soul. Let your spirit, your eternal entity, have mastery over the tripart being that is you. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Love you. Have a good day.